Yes, uh, welcome back. Uh, it's one week since we started our, uh, since uh, we, we parted ways. That was last week on, uh, when, when did we have our class? I think we had our class last week, but one. We had our class last week, but one. That was on 2nd June. Then last week, we had a training as lecturers. And therefore, I had to leave some work for you to do on topic three. On topic three, that was uh, nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication. And I also left some uh, activities, that is a discussion forum and a quiz. For those who are doing those quiz, you have nothing to worry about. And for those who are assuming those quiz, don't blame me in future. Don't even blame yourself in future. Those who are assuming the quizzes and the discussion forums that I have put there, do not blame anybody in future because those discussion forums can be seen and can be accessed and can be done. So if you are assuming them, bear, I mean, uh, putting in mind or thinking that you're going to dupe us or tell us a story and we are going to believe you then my friend, you are very wrong. We will not believe you. Whatever story you are going to tell us, if you have mm. assumed all those activities from topic one to topic three, and also I'm going to give other activities on topic four. My friend, don't blame anybody because those activities have been placed there, others are doing, but you have decided that you will not do them mm. for no reason. You have decided you're not going to do those activities for no reason. Now, I gave uh, some notes on the topic that I we were to cover last week. That was on 9th of uh, June, <clears throat> 2021. And now, today we are going to look at another topic. And this topic, we are focusing on listening. We are focusing on listening. The topic is all about listening skills, listening skills. I will start first of all by looking at the objectives of today's topic. And the objectives of today's topic are, by the end of this lesson, you the learner, you the learner must be able to define the term listening. You must be able to understand the various principles of listening and you must be able to explain the barriers to effective listening. And at last, you must be able to understand how to listen more effectively. You must be able to understand how to listen more effectively. Those who are joining with their microphone on, kindly switch them off. Because you're going to make this be a very long lesson. You can imagine 20 of you putting on their microphone on. And every time I'm taking a break to, to warn you, then it will mean that you're going to waste much time. And the stipulated time that I'm supposed to take uh, conducting this lesson might be prolonged. And therefore, we might not even get enough time to do the activities that have been put forth for you to do. Therefore, uh, those are some of the some of the what some of the objectives that we are going to cover in today's lesson in today's lesson. So therefore, let me share my screen so that we can go uh, through the notes. Now, when you talk about listening, I want somebody to tell us what listening is. Let me first of all uh, stop sharing my screen. What is listening? Write your Florence. What is listening? Ratia Florence, not Raitia. Ratia Florence, we are waiting for you to tell us what listening is. Also remember that you should keep your microphone on, off, 
if you put your microphone on and you've not been asked a question, that will mean that I will draw you out of this class. And the next time you will join us is next week, a time like today, and a day like today. Right here, Florence, we are waiting. Florence, to Nangojo to Patia answer. I meant to be a life deserter just now. Isn't that what she said, our Queen Sylvia? What she said that about her grandchildren. Right, Ratia Florence does know that that is uh, being what? Yes. We call them being disrespectful. When you ask a question, you cannot even put on your microphone to, a to say anything. That is being disrespectful and that is not learning. Can we have Obunga Juma telling us what listening is? Namtu huvuna kile ambacho anapanda, by the way. Unavunanga kile ambacho unapanda. So Obunga Juma, you have raised your hand. Grace Dengua, what is listening? Grace, we are waiting. Do you hear me, Mr. Minor? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, listening, in my literal opinion, it's to be, to pay attentive. To be attentive. Yeah, to be attentive. Purity Jerry Kanini, what is listening? You know, I'm wondering when I'm asking somebody a question and you just decide to keep quiet. And also go ahead. And that's why we are waiting for you to explain to us what listening is. And that's why can you hear us? I'm on the microphone, you are off. Whenever you start talking, the first thing you do is you unmute yourself and you start talking. You might find yourself talking to yourself. And that's what I keep So let's go ahead. Now, uh, here my name to me talk a hapo. Wale mbao meambiwa wa seme wajibu ma wa tuambia listening is na umekata. Sasa wewe kaa na jibu yako, hata hatutaki kukusikia. So, uh, when you talk about listening, listening is a process. Listening is a process just like communication. It's a process that takes place in a uh, very fast to an extent that you cannot even realize it's a process. Just like the way communication takes place. We start from the sender, and we finish with the receiver. That whole process is a very, when you look at it uh, diagrammatically, it's a very long process. The same case with listening, it is a process. And this process usually involves four stages. First of all, you need to receive the communication or the message. From who? From the sender. The sender is the one that is sending the message to you. So you need to receive that message. Then you need to pay attention to the message that is being sent to you, or we can call it attending to those messages. 
and then after paying attention you assign a meaning to the message that has been sent to you and then from there it doesn't stop there you have to remember what you are told by the sender so it involves four stages number one you first of all receive the communication or the message remember we said that the message can be in form of a picture the message can be verbal the message can be nonverbal the message can be in form of food it can it can be even be in form of space it can even be in form of a reaction maybe you are reacting uh, on something and you are showing how as how angry you are towards another person so message can be anything it can be verbal it can be done verbal it can be audio it can be something audio it can even be a movie that is sending a message to you so you first of all receive the message that is step number 1 number 2 you attend to the message and then you assign a meaning to that particular message and then you have to remember like right now we are learning so you have to receive the message first and then you have to attend to the message or pay attention to it because if you miss attending the message i mean attending attending to the message then it will mean that the listening process has been broken down so you cannot jump one process useme kwamba i'm not going to receive the message i'm just going to attend and to assign message to the message and to remember it no that one will not happen the message must be there to be attended to you cannot just say that i'm not going to attend to the message but i will assign meaning to the message and remember the message that one will never happen so it is a process that you cannot break it down breaking it down i mean you cannot say that i'm going to do this and leave the other one out i'm going to do this part of the process and leave a certain part of the process out no you have to do the four things and the four things we are saying it is you have to receive the message that is being sent to you by the sender you have to attend to the message or pay attention to the message and then you have to assign a meaning to the message that has been sent to you then you will have to remember the message so we are saying that in an ideal listening situation uh we have said that all these stages will be must be completed or will be completed if listening is ineffective however the process might break down at any stage if listening is ineffective what can cause ineffective uh, listening you are going to find out now when you talk about receiving the message we are saying that in any one day we receive more messages like today you have woken up maybe before you joined a class you have received like several messages from your classmates you have received several messages from your parents commanding you or telling you when you wake up this is what you are going to do another one is telling you let's meet for lunch or something like that eh? so you have received in a day we usually receive more messages that we need or can process when you switch on your tv it's giving you messages and maybe you are not paying attention to it when you switch on your radio the same case it is giving you information and you find that most of the time you are not paying attention to that such messages so some of these messages include number 1 it include commercials when you watch tv you see commercials commercials are just adverts you see ad adverts are always ziko hapo adverts za coca cola ziko hapo you will see commercials someone shouting in the corridor you will hear someone shouting in the corridor like uh and also can uh, bear me witness when i opened this forum uh, there was a certain student but he was speaking in kikuyu and this student was saying 
how ni nini mewafanyia wanapiga kelele in short he could hear some neighbors making noise this very morning so we are talking about someone shouting in the corridor there is an, an an instructor's lecture like right now we are having a lecture there is also conversation with a friend and so on and so forth some of us are in class right now but you are busy conversing with your friend that is it those whose microphones are on kindly switch them off sio vizuri microphone yako iko on unatutumbua na ndio tumeanza class kwani umetumwa uharibu class those whose microphones are on switch them off let me show you how we do it mtu akisumbua na murusha nje Ya yeah, utakuwa unasumbua class mimi ninakurusha nje because hatutashinda tukisema switch off your microphone that is the first thing that you do when you join a class you switch off the microphone that is the first thing any time you join a class you switch off your microphone Najua sasa hatutakuwa tunafanya kitu inaitwa mchezo. Tutakuwa tunakurusha nje. The next time utakuwa na to ni next class. So how tumewarusha nje already? Wako nje wanaota baridi. So let's look at uh, this particular process. Receiving message, we have said you can receive a message from someone talking in a corridor, maybe from a lecture, maybe from a commercial, or maybe someone shouting uh, someone shouting in a corridor lectures your friends we hear all these kind of messages so hearing when you talk about hearing hearing is a mechanical process hearing is a mechanical process that involves various parts of the ear so when you talk about hearing it's a mechanical process involving various parts of the ear that is hearing like there is a difference between hearing and listening Listening is when you pay attention. When you pay attention to something, you are listening. When you are internalizing the message that has been sent to you, that is listening. But hearing is when you are not paying attention to the noises that are being that are outside or then uh, the friend that is uh, making a, or giving a story in a class. You are not paying attention but you can hear what they are saying. That is hearing. You are not paying attention. You are not internalizing the message. Like when you board a matatu to maybe to college or to Thika Road campus, Zitek, there are people who listen to the music that is being played, and there are people who hear the music. You can hear there is a lot of music in the in the matatu, but you cannot tell what they are saying. But there is that person who is listening. Listening means what? Internalizing the message. Listen, I mean, uh, intensively, something like that. So listening is more composite perceptual process involving our total response to others. Like if you are hearing a story, you cannot be able to tell what the story is all about. But a person who is listening to a story, he can give you, the, uh, he can actually tell you what the story is all about. Sometimes we hear the news. Sometimes we listen to the news. So there is the difference between the two. Hearing is passive. When you talk about hearing, hearing is passive while listening is active. Hearing is passive, listening is active. Why is it active? Because your senses, you are paying more attention to it, to the message that is being 
sent to you. Hearing is active. No, hearing is passive. It just passes you. It just passes you just like that. Then after we have talked about receiving message, then there is attending. Attending simply means, uh, or we can actually say that we are able to focus our attention on a particular stimulus. Stimulus is a message. Stimulus actually can be anything. Stimulus is anything that attracts your attention. For example, it can be coffee. Coffee can be stimulus at this cold session. Maybe you see coffee and it attracts your attention. Then it becomes a stimulus. It can be a bed. It can be money. Stimulus is anything that attracts your attention. That's why we are saying we are able to focus our attention on a particular stimulus. For example, if you are in a dorm in the early evening, you will hear all kinds of noises. So students shouting to each other, music playing, doors uh, playing, doors being opened and shut, something like that. So the ability to focus on perception is called selective perception. So if you decide now to focus on a certain perception or to focus on a certain something, you're just focusing on a, maybe a certain young girl or you're focusing on a certain, or uh, maybe somebody is taking coffee and you're focusing on the coffee. That is called selective attention. Then your attention is selective. Such that to kiulizo, uyo mwenye alikuwa na kunyo kofi, alikuwa mevangu inakana mnagani. You cannot tell. How was, she, how, how was she looking? Was she wearing a red dress or a white one? You cannot tell because your focus was on the coffee, not the type of dress and something like that. So that is called selective perception, or we can actually call it selective attention. When you pay attention to a specific thing, if you pay your at attention to a child, you only see the child, but you don't see the surrounding, something like that. So that is called selective attention. You might uh, you might uh, focus on a child, but not the parent. So unaweza kuulizwa. Huyo mtoto wazazi wake walikuwa wanaka aje. Tazema, ay, mini siju wazazi walikuwa wanaka aje but mtoto ni najua vile alikuwa naka. Why? Because your attention was specifically on the child only. So that is called attending. Eh? Then we have uh, assigning meaning. Assigning meaning is uh, when you are sent a message, you have to understand the message and then react to the message. Now, you have to internalize the message for you to assign a meaning. So we, when we decide to attend to a message, our next step is to assign the meaning to the message. And these ones uh, simply involve assimilating the message, to assimilate or to internalize the message. Uh, or in, in short, we can say making it part of our knowledge and experience. So to assign meaning, we must decide what the message is uh, whether the mess what what uh, in the message is relevant. You must decide what in the message is relevant, and how it relates to what we already know. That is assigning a meaning. Like for example, I'll give you this note to read. You might find them difficult, but for you to understand those notes, you have to assign meanings. Hmm? You have to assign a meaning. To a message for you to understand. So in assigning meaning, we also evaluate. So evaluating means what? We weigh what the speaker has said against personal beliefs we hold. So we question the speaker. And we also wonder what he has omitted. That is assigning meaning, trying to understand the message. Huh? 
that is to assign meaning. When you're trying to understand the message is when you are, as, that is what we call assigning the meaning. Like for example, we teach this particular class, then somebody will ask a question. Does it mean that when you do A, B, C, D, that is assigning meaning? This person is trying to understand. By so trying to understand, that is assigning meaning to what? To the message, trying to understand what the speaker has said. Why are you trying to understand? So that you can remember in future. So that you can remember what you have been taught in future. And remembering is a final step in the process of listening. So when you talk about remembering, it is a selective process of determining what is important and what is not important. That's why you hear selective listening, selective attention. You're trying to select which one is important to you, which one relates to you more importantly, and which one does not relate to you. Like for example, if I'm, to, uh, I'm speaking and I say, all CBM students, all CBM students, you are going to have a cut next week. Then a CJMS student will say, ah, that message is not mine. That message is not CBM. But when I say, all CJMS students, I want to see you next week on Monday. Then all the groups, the CBM, the CPSM, the C, uh, all other groups will say, ah, see your CC to me and be your, ni watu wa journalism. Ama watu wa certificate in journalism and media studies. So you are doing what? That is called selective attention. So you're not going to listen to what I'm telling them. Something like that. Or what I'll be telling them. So uh, remembering is one of the last uh, is uh, the last stage, and the reason as to why we remember is that uh, we, we uh, the reason as to why uh, remembering is there is we want to remember this message in future. Umawai kusikia mtu na kuambia ya kwamba na kumbuka tukiwa primary school vile mwalimu alituambia. Kwa nini na kumbuka vile mwalimu aliwaambia? Kwa sababu the stage was number one you listen. You received the message, you attended to the message, and you assigned meaning to the message. And that is why you can remember the message and, and the, uh, something like that. So uh, let's look at listening. So listening is the ability to accurately. So when somebody tells you, define the term listening. So it is the ability ability to accurately receive and interpret a message in the communication process. If you can receive and interpret the message correctly in a communication process, then we can say you have listened to the message. If you are not able to get the message correctly, then we can say there is a step in the listening process that has been missed. Either you did not get the message or you did not attend to the message. There is a process that was not taken into consideration in the listening process. So we cannot say that you listened. To Mesema Akomba, listening has got four processes. Process number one is receiving the message. Process number two is attending to the message. Process number three is what we call assigning meaning. And process number four is remembering. Kwa mfano tumesema ya kwamba, ninaweza sema ya kwamba CJMS wote on Tuesday, saa mbili asubui, tukutane auditorium TRC Thika Road Campus, ZTEC. Alafu tunona mtu wa CBM na CPSM wako hapo. That means they did not listen. There is a process that they missed. Either they did not assign meaning, or maybe there is a process of uh, receiving the message, and so on and so forth. So when you talk about listening, it is the ability to accurately receive and interpret the message in the communication process. Remember, we looked at communication process, and we said that communications process starts with the sender, then it ends with 
the receiver. In between the sender and the receiver, there is a process. There is a process. So whenever the receiver receives a message from the sender, he reacts to the message. Reacting to the message is uh, responding. You are responding. That is what is called listening. So if you listen properly, then there is going to be what we call effective communication. If you listen effectively, not just listening, but listening effectively and accurately, then there is going to be effective communication. Like right now, we say that people should switch off their microphone when you join a class. If you can get that message and you can remember and you can act on the message, then it means you are listening effectively. But those who are joining with their microphone on, it means that they are not listening or maybe they are ignorant. So listening is key to effective communication. Without the ability to listen effectively, if we cannot listen effectively, message are usually misunderstood. If you cannot listen effectively, messages are usually misunderstood. So a good listener will listen not only to what is, it is being said, but also to what is left unsaid. A good listener will listen not only to what is being said, but to what also that is not being said. So effective listening usually involves uh, observing body language and noting what we call inconsistencies. Like for example, somebody is telling you, let me go and buy you tea. But when you look at his body language, it is telling you, I, I don't have money, something like that, or I'm just joking. Somebody can tell you, let's go and buy, uh, come I buy you tea, or come I buy you coffee. But when you look at his body language, he is not ready to do that. Somebody can tell you, I won a lot of, or I, uh, something like that. But when you look at them, these people don't look like they have won anything. Something like that. Just give me a minute, please. There is something I'm checking. Kindly give me a minute, one minute. Give me a minute.
Sorry for that. Uh, we have said that uh, listening skills, uh, that a good listener will listen. Uh, a good listener will listen not only for what is being said, but also for what is left and said. That is it. Eh? Uh, because when you listen, you can even be able to uh, understand the message more effectively. Somebody is making noise. Somebody's <laughs> microphone is on. And you know what I'm going to do. Remember your microphone should always be off. So if you put your microphone on, mimi nitakurusha tu inje. Na tutaonana next week. So uh, therefore, when you talk about uh, listening skills, uh, effective listening involves observing body language and noticing the inconsistencies. Just like we, can, we have said that somebody can tell you, come I buy you a cup of coffee. But when you look at his body language, his body language is telling you, no, I don't want to buy, I don't even have money to buy you a cup of coffee. Or again, somebody can tell you that I am, maybe I, I won uh, maybe lotto yesterday. I am one million richer as we speak. But when you look at their body language, it speaks actually the negative. So those are what we call inconsistencies between verbal and nonverbal messages. So therefore, when you are talking about listening, there are principles of listening. There are various principles of listening. Principles of listening are, number one, when someone is talking to you, when someone is talking to you, the first thing you should do, you stop talking. 
When you stop talking, it means that you are paying attention to what this other person is telling you. I don't know whether you have found yourself in a situation, you are trying to talk to someone, but this person is talking to another person or is doing something else. Unongea na mtu lakini ako busy ana, maybe he's eating or he's busy doing his work, maybe he's doing some mathematics or some calculation. So he's not even paying attention to you or he's talking on phone and he's telling you continue talking, showing you with hand, eh? with a hand, where in the letter to to ongea, ongea na kuskia, eh? something like that. So when someone starts talking to you, the first thing you should do is you're supposed uh, to stop talking. Don't talk. You're not supposed to talk. You're supposed to listen when someone talks to you. So when somebody else is talking, listen to what they are saying. Listen to them. Don't interrupt them. There are people who are fond of interrupting others. Nimeenda kukwambia jana nilikuwa na class ya then unarukia unasema ya com skills. You are interrupting me. Eh? There are people who interrupt other people's conversation or completing the speech of others. Maybe nakwambia nikitoka hapa nitaenda ku or lunch, nitaenda kukula. You have already completed my speech. And maybe I'm telling you nikitoka hapa ninaenda kuona ndugu yangu something like that. Eh? Do not interrupt when the speaker is speaking. You're not supposed to talk over them or finish their sentences. They are very good people who are fond of finishing other people's sentences. There are even others who tell them, I know what you are telling me. Even I want to tell you something, but you have already filled the gap that you know what I'm telling you or what I want from you. So stop. You're supposed to just listen. When other person has finished talking, you may need to clarify or to ensure that you have received the message accurately. When somebody else stops talking, just clarify whether you have gotten the message correctly. Second question or second principle, prepare yourself to listen. There are people who are not uh, always prepared to listen. These are the people who tell you, I know what you want, come to my office. Or I remember what you have come for. Maybe I've come for something different. So prepare yourself to listen. And by preparing yourself to listen, it means relax. You're supposed to relax. Focus on the speaker. Focus on the speaker. Maintain eye contact with the speaker. Put other things out of mind completely. If there is a phone that is ringing, switch it off, put it there. If a friend is talking to you, tell him, no, I'm listening. So put other things out of mind. So because the human mind is easily distracted, we might be talking to you, you are a guy, then you see a lady passing by. And then all of a sudden, you are so much interested with the lady, and I'm very busy talking to you. So in short, you are not listening to me, because you have been distracted by what? A small lady or a little lady that is passing by, something like that because uh, we have come to realize that the human mind is easily distracted by other thoughts. Hmm? Not only other thoughts, but by other things that are happening in between. Something like that. The next principle, which is principle number three, put the speaker at ease. When you talk about putting the speaker at ease is Make the speaker feel free to speak. Some, somebody, maybe, uh, maybe a student or maybe a lecturer has gone to see maybe a, a senior lecturer somewhere, or maybe a student has go, gone to see a lecturer. Then you find that the lecturer is not giving you that, he's not putting you at ease. Maybe I'm asking you, why didn't you do my assignment? Before you even answer, I'm asking you another question. Before you even respond to the second question, I'm asking you the third one. Before you even finish the third one, I'm asking you the fourth one, something like that. So you will not be at ease to explain yourself. So remember, there is need and concerns. There are needs and concerns. 
Excuse me, Kidoko. Sorry for that, there are some lost students. I'm receiving a call from uh, uh, one of the ZDS uh, operators asking me some questions about uh, this particular unit. Anyway, we have said, prepare yourself to listen. Put the speaker at ease. If you want the speaker to give and to open his heart to you, just make him comfortable to speak. Eh? Give him all the time that he needs. Remember their needs and concerns. Nod, you're supposed to nod or use other gestures or words to encourage them to continue. Like for example, somebody might tell you, Mwali, I did not do a cut or assignment. Then I will tell you, okay, then what happened? You see, I'm giving you what? Time to continue. I'm encouraging you to continue speaking. Then you will tell me that is all. Then I'll start now talking to you. So we should give each other's chance to speak, not interrupt one another, something like that. Eh? So maintain eye contact again. Focus on the speaker. Remember we said that the speaker might be saying something, but his gestures are saying something totally different. Maybe you are saying that your portal, you are not able to access your portal. But when I look at your eyes, when I look at, uh, I focus on you, on you, or when I maintain eye contact with you, I can actually see that you are lying to me. Something like that. So maintain eye contact, but do not stare. There are people who don't know how to maintain eye contact. Their work is to stare. You are not maintaining eye contact. You are staring at that person. There is a difference between maintaining eye contact and staring. Staring ni kuzuba, unazubalia mtu. Hmm? Ni msichana wewe ni mwanaume unazubalia huyo msichana kabisa. Mpaka ana feel shy, feels uncomfortable. Something like that. Maintaining eye contact is looking at that person's eyes. Straight. Wacha kustia na other parts of the body and something like that. Eh? In fact, that is a barrier to effective listening. Okay, remove the point number four or principles number four. Remove distractions. Anything that you know is going to distract you in listening, remove it. If it is your friends, those who are living with friends right now, and you are sleeping with them in the same room, stop focusing on them. Move from that room, go to another room, because he will make you not to understand today's topic or the topics that you are being taken through by a certain lecturer. So focus on what is being said. Don't doodle. Don't shuffle papers. Look out the window or look out the window. No, don't do that. Don't start picking your fingernails or fidgeting or something like that. Avoid unnecessary interruptions. Kama nisimu, put it in a silent mode. Kama nilafiki akona story tamu wapo ya kukuambia, muambia wacha nimalize class kwanza. You just... Do your own things, let me finish my class first. If it is the caretaker that is talking to you, eh, just, just, just don't think that the caretaker is just there to take rent. Maybe he's giving you very important information. Maybe mumepewa notice na he company ya National Construction Authority. 
na labda nataka kukuambia kesho mnahama na wewe muona ukasema huyu usifunguli alafu sasa wewe ndio unajipata nyumba inabomolewa ukiwa hapo mashindo huu kiyateka haku niambia hakuna mtu ameniambia kwani hawa watu wananichukia namna gani na ni wewe ulifanya nini you avoided the caretaker at all costs eh? so avoid unnecessary interruptions whenever you are listening because these behaviors disrupt what the listening process and they send messages to speakers that you are bored or distracted i'm talking to you you are focusing on maybe at a, a particular novel i'm talking to you you are your eyes are focused on the television i'm talking to you your eyes are focused on maybe something else that shows that you are totally bored and distracted emphasize emphasize no emphasize 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 means what try to understand the other person's point of view put yourself into the shoes of the other person that's what it means you put yourself into the shoes of another person whatever is explaining try to imagine what if it was me that way it will make it uh it will make it easier for you to understand the position uh, of this other person be patient somebody is explaining something to you just be patient listen to them don't say i'm in a hurry uh i have understood what you have told me no you are supposed to be patient a pause even a longer pause does not necessarily mean that the speaker has finished there are people who are fond of saying akiongea anakaa kidogo anaendelea kuongea tena hiyo haimaanishi wamemaliza na kama unafikiri wamemaliza utamuuliza are you through something like that so for you to be sure that this person has uh, finished explaining him or herself avoid personal prejudice avoid prejudice prejudice is uh, when you look at a person ushamjudge already huyu mwalimu ni mkali sana huyu mtu anakaa na kwamba atatusumbua hmm? au jaongea na huyo mtu au jawahi kutana na yeye hujawahi kumpigia simu lakini umeanza personal judgment you started now judging this person maybe is the best person ever to handle your case but now you've started judging this person even before talking to him if you are a lecturer you've started judging a student even before talking and listening to that particular student those ones are called personal prejudice and they are barriers to effective listening listen to the tone listen to the tone why are we listening to the tone volume and tone they both add to what someone is saying the tone that is being used and the volume that has been applied in what it is being said can actually tell you what the speaker uh what the speakers uh it can give you the attitude of the speaker hmm? so a good speaker will use both volume and tone to their advantage to keep an audience attentive and everybody will use pitch tone and volume of uh volume of voice in certain situations there are people when you go to maybe for example it's a lecture that lecture you say that it is bo very boring maybe because of the tone that he is using and the volume maybe tone yake iko chini na volume pia iko chini sasa the lecture becomes very boring also listen to ideas not just words you are being given some ideas listen to those ideas don't just listen to the words eh? wait and watch for nonverbal communication you're supposed to wait and watch for nonverbal communication now those are 10 principles of good communication principles of uh, no not principles of good communication but principles of listening there are 10 we've gone through them unless there is a question unless there is a principle that you have not understood and you think that we should go through it any question before i move to something else 
And you must be able to understand that when you listen, if you are a good listener, if you are a good listener, you are going to benefit a lot. You will benefit a lot in your personal life, including you're going to have very many friends. You're even going to have a very large network, social network. Even your self-esteem will improve because you are a good listener. You're also going to realize that you're going to have confidence and higher grades at school and in academic work and even better health and general well-being. We have uh, studies also show that whereas speaking raises blood pressure, listening brings it down. Whereas speaking, sometimes speaking brings about high blood pressure, but listening brings it down. So when you become a good listener, there are people who like attention, especially ladies, they like attention. If you become a good listener, people, people, many people are looking for people who can listen to them. Just listening to them and talking to them in a very good way. You're going to realize that you have so many friends. Why? Because you listen to them, to their problems, and maybe you advise them. Those people who pay attention, their blood pressure goes down. That is the stat that has shown that. But speaking can bring your blood pressure up. But when you listen, it goes down. Any question? We cannot have two masters serving the same people. You are talking, I'm talking. That one will never happen. Any question? And so? Kuna soali? And that's what we are here. If you want to do microphone. Or there, Kelly Net. Net. Is there any question? No, I don't have any question. Thank you. I've seen your name and I've remembered something. <laughs> okay. Yes, I've seen your name and I've remembered something. I thank God for helping me remember something. Coach uh, Kipkeme, any question? Coach, Kunaswali. I talked to Mungine Chep Chep Kuoni Midred. Mildred, najua unafanya CHTM. Kuna swali? No, I don't have any question. Thank you, Mildred. Thank you for answering my question on time. Now, let's go to uh, barriers to effective listening. When you talk about barriers to effective listening, these are, these are uh, interferences that hinders effective listening. So there are many things, eh? But let's look at these distractions. Eh? Number one, we are talking about distractions themselves. And the main types of distractions are physical. Physical is anything. Eh? Uh, where you are staying eh? or where you are, there is a lot of physical noise. Physical noise like uh, there, there is a mujengo going on at your place. There is a TV that is uh, switched to a very loud, I mean, it's switched on with a very loud voice or music. Those are physical. Or maybe there is a child, a neighbor child, a neighbor's child 
who is making noise by cry, is crying loudly, something like that. Then there is what you call mental distractions. Mental distraction is when you are thinking about something, but you're not paying attention to what you are being told. I'm talking to you about academics. You, you are thinking about how you will go on a certain date with a certain person or people. Those are called mental distractions. Your body is here, but your minds are very far away. It is called mental distraction. We also have auditory, auditory and visual. Auditory comes from the voice, from the voice eh? and visual, things that you can see. I'm talking to you, you have seen a very fine girl passing. Now your attention has focused on the very fine girl. Now you're not listening to me. Those are called distractions. Secondly, category of barriers to effective listening is excessive attachment to personal beliefs and values. Mm -hmm. You have heard people saying, hey, in my, in my culture, men should not eat chicken before they pay their bride price. That is your culture and that is what you believe. In my culture, it is wrong to, to do what? To maintain eye contact with an old person. It shows disrespect. But you find kuangalia mtu mze kwa macho kwa macho, ama is it uso kwa macho, something like that. That is our personal belief. So it is always good. Eh? It is good to have what we call personal beliefs and values. But an excessive attachment to them will have a negative impact on your ability to listen effectively to others. Eh? Some culture, you see, eh? they say that uh, it is not uh, good to ask an old person so many questions. So when an old person talks to you, you don't ask them questions because we presume they have all the wisdom that, they, that we need. That one can be a barrier to effective uh, listening. Another person will say, in our beliefs or in our culture, when men are talking, we don't respond back. We just keep quiet. They say whatever they are saying, whether it is wrong or right. And then that is, uh, and then, uh, that is it. So those ones can be barriers to effective listening. Faking attention. There are people who are very good at faking attention, especially ladies. They are very good at faking attention. You are talking to them, they are smiling you. They are smiling at you. Wana kuangalia tu hivi wana smile, unajua tu huyu ananisikiza. Kumbe they are faking attention. They are multitasking. Ako hapa kwa simu, unampea story flani, anakaa hivi, anasoma message kwa simu, anakusmailia unaona, he is faking attention. That one is another, another uh, barrier to effective hearing or listening. Emotions, emotions. Emotions erect barriers to effective communication. A listener sense, senses are not likely to be functioning at their optimal level when he or she is very angry. Umendo kakutana na mtu ako very angry na wewe. You are trying to tell them something that is utmost, uh, of utmost importance. But this person cannot listen to it because they are emotionally disturbed. So emotions is another thing. Or maybe somebody has lost his loved one. You are trying to tell him something important. But this person cannot listen to you. To him, to, to her or him, nothing makes sense. So emotion is another thing. Noise, noise we talked about, uh, we have uh, mechanical noise, we have semantic noise, we have psychological noise. All those can be a barrier to effective communication, uh, to effective listening. Even fear, fear can also be a great barrier to listening. So people who are afraid during conversation are not likely to listen. Umekuja kwa sababu ya kwamba, 
haujafanya kati zangu na assignment zangu ambazo nimeweka pale kwa poto na unaogopa sana uko na fear sana yani kile ambacho nitakuwa ninakuambia itakuwa inaingia kwa huyu masikio moja inatokea ile masikio ingine kwa sababu tayari uko na uoga and hiyo uoga inakufanya ya kwamba usisikie kile ninakuambia eh? so fear is a great barrier to effective listening another thing is trying to listen to more than one conversation at a time somebody is calling you on phone eh? ama unajaribu kusikiza patanisho upande huu na upande huu mwingine ni darasa inaendelea you are trying to multitask eh? that one is another barrier to effective listening when you are trying to listen to more than one conversation you will find that you will not pay attention to any of them lack of interest we are talking about something important here but you are not interested that is another barrier barrier to effective listening lack of focus lack of focus simply means not focusing and being easily distracted you are not focusing and you are easily distracted eh? like for example fiddling with your hair eh mikono yako iko kukwa nywele fingers eh? pen or gazing out of the window or even focusing on objects other than the speaker the second the last point here is having a closed mind yani wewe umeamua ya kwamba hata akiniambia nini mimi sitamsikiza that is having a closed mind having have made up your mind is another thing eh having a closed mind so we all have ideas ideals or we have ideas and values that we believe to be correct and it can be difficult to listen to the views of others that contradict to our own opinion those are what we call uh, that eh? so for you to listen more effectively prepare yourself to listen this is just a summary for you to listen to someone or to a speaker effectively prepare to listen preparing to listen is that focus on the speaker remove any distractions that is around you and so on and so forth so prepare to listen listen for the main idea listen for the main idea listen for supporting details link introductions with conclusions and then recognize context clues and then take notes like right now we are in a class I believe and I know that some students are taking notes they are taking notes and I also know that there are others who are traveling Mtu ameamua hiyo class nitaisikiza kama vile tunasikia DJ Demakufu the latest mixtape Ukaamua tu kuvaa earphone ukaingia kwa Zoom class sasa unatusikiza hivyo ama unasikiza mwalimu hivyo So that is it Now uh, those are barriers to effective listening and uh, we have said that the last thing you are supposed to do is take notes take notes when you see people taking notes it means that they are listening to you there is no way someone can take notes and they are not listening to you so take notes so mine i will stop there unless there is a question mimi nitawatia hapo kama kuna swali tafadhali niulizwe Is there any question? Lineage kuna swali Any question? Excuse me sir could you go back to principles of mission in it was principle number 5 empathize empathize i think so uh principle number 5 yes what about yeah. it yeah i didn't understand it well there is what we call a uh, sympathize and uh emphasize that means there is a difference between the two 
Number one, sympathize is to try and understand the other person. While the other one, which is emphasized, is trying to put yourself into their shoes. Now, morning, my name is Christine. I cannot see your notes. I have not uh, projected my notes, Christine. Eh? I'm explaining. Now, when you try to put yourself into someone's shoes, you seem to understand them more and to listen to them more. For example, maybe uh, somebody is telling you that uh, 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 yesterday at night, he was, he, was, uh, he was arrested by the police for flouting COVID-19 rules. Of, of flouting, that is, that is uh, the curfew. If you have never been arrested during a curfew, you might not understand this person, the story is telling you. But if you have been arrested before, then you can understand what this person is telling you. Again, you can put it this way, you have never been arrested before, but you're trying to imagine what if it was you. You're trying to put yourself into his, into his or her shoes. What would you have done? That is putting yourself into the shoes of this person. Then you will understand them more and you're going to focus on them and listen to them more carefully and more attentively. That's what it is doing. Are we okay now? Lynette, have I answered your question? Or I should yeah, uh, okay. yeah, it's fine, I understood it. Any other question? Any other question? But the speaker is asking you whether you have any question, he's ready to listen to you. Oh, sir. Yes. Well, uh, on, uh, on when you're talking about um, uh, passing some uh, information to people, talking to them, what about your, your whatever you are talking to that person? It's uh, something to do with your secretive way of life, and uh, you don't want to expose it. So, how how will the community? Can you come again, Macau? Okay, I was asking about. Um, when you were talking about uh, people talking to others, passing information to others, like, so what if uh, I have uh, an information which is secret and uh, I, I want to pass to one person and, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't want to, uh, maybe it's something which is secret. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Like, um, you don't want to tell them but you're afraid that they may pass the information to other people. Now, uh, about that, uh, you only look for a good friend of yours, a friend that you trust very well. A friend that you trust very well is the mm -hmm. person that you give the secret. You don't just give a secret to people that you know that when I give us my secret to these people, uh, they might spill the beans to others. You only give okay. a secret to somebody that you trust, that you know that it is okay. it is well when it is kept by uh, so and so. Okay, okay, thank. Somebody is telling me something here. Please, sir, can you repeat point on how to listen effectively? You want me to repeat all those points? Maybe let me share my screen then. Uh, 
Let me share my screen. Oh, listening more effectively. Number one, you are told to prepare to listen. You must be prepared to listen. I'm repeating uh, how to listen more effectively. Be prepared to listen. Means what that? Uh, it means that uh, you keep all the distractions. Keep yourself away from the distractions and focus on the, 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 the speaker. Listen for the main idea. Listen for what you are being told, the main idea. Maybe the main idea here is all about assignment. So listen to that main idea and listen for supporting details. Maybe somebody is telling, that, telling you that I did not do the cut and he's supporting his idea by giving you the facts. So listen to those supporting details and link introduction with the conclusion. If it is a speech or somebody is telling, uh, maybe it's a speech, look at the introduction, link that introduction with the way the speech ends. And then recognize context clues, context clues. Just uh, uh, try to remember the clues that were said in that particular statement or in that particular speech. And then finally, you're told you're supposed to take notes. Taking notes simply means that you are listening. There is no way you can take notes without listening. I hope that one is OK. Unless there is a question, again, from any one of us. Ngodo, you are making noise to us, or unless you want me to go out of this class. Hi, Mr. Moina. Yes. Uh, question, a quick one. Mm. Uh, in regards to listening, you've, you are very clear about, we have these three elements, the listening, hearing, and understanding. Uh, and uh, as, uh, as, as much as I understand, you are very clear about this listening and you told us about just, it involves the uh, being attentive and you internalize. Uh, you also be at a position to interpret accurately. Then hearing all involves, uh, it all involves our ears. You can just hear even noise or whatever, but you don't need to internalize it. But uh, I, I have an issue with the understanding. How, how, how does Zeke, how de, does it uh, relate to this understanding, the understanding concept? Now, uh, we said that listening involves three steps. Listening involves three steps. And we said, number one, you need first of all to, we need first of all to receive the message because Receiving the message is the first thing. Then you need to pay attention to the message. Then after paying attention to the message, you have to assign meaning to the message that you have received. You are assigning the meaning to the message that you have received. And then there is remembering. Remembering, it is the final stage in the process of listening. Like in the case of, uh, let's talk about uh, learning. Right now we are in class. We are trying to understand. To re uh, the reason as to why we are remembering, it's because we will need that uh, information when we'll be doing our exams. That's why we have to understand because understanding, you cannot remember something without understanding it. You have to, to understand first for you to remember. So you have to understand, then remember. So for the sake of academics, sometimes you might not even remember. Maybe somebody gave you a story and uh, your story is younger hapo. But as far as it is, uh, when you talk about academics, you have to remember. Some things you have to remember them. 
for the sake of the exam. Not everything that you're supposed to remember, but it is always good to remember something that is going to help you in future. Maybe it is an advice. Somebody is giving you an advice. It is always good to listen to that person, understand what he's saying, so that you can be able to remember for the rest of your days as you live, eh? something like that. So I don't know that I've answered your question. Yes, sir, it's in order. Any other question? So if there is no other question, uh, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to unleash today's notes. That is a uh, listening what? Listening skills. Then I'm going to give an activity. Let me, let me go there. <clears throat> so today's notes, I've opened today's notes. So you can download those notes when and uh, how you feel it, how you feel like. Then there is a uh, activity. Number one is reading activity. And then there is a discussion there. And the discussion reads, the semester has just begun. The semester has just begun and you have a new roommate. The phone rings and your roommate answers. You can hear the caller, you can hear the caller has disturbing news. From what you can make out, someone may have died. Your roommate hangs up, goes over to his or her bed and lies down. So applying what you have just learned today about active listening, because we talked about active listening. What might you say and do? Explain in details. That is the discussion. Then post your discussion in the provided discussion forum. Then there is a quiz there for you. But today's quiz will close exactly at three. You may compare time. Sabunona already, it's almost, uh, it's almost 10. So I've given you time up to three. You're supposed to have finished your quiz and uh, the discussion forum that I've just posted. Also remember to take your register. Kubuka kuchukua register yako. Kuchukulia register, to take your register. Before you do that, let me give you the password to the register. Tafadhali musinisumbue, I've been another class. I've come to realize that this is the most disturbing class. Even when I tell you that I'm in another class, other will insist, we still insist on talking to me. Today I have classes the whole day. And the time that I'll be having a break is at 8 p.m. Tumelawana, classes nikonazo the whole day. Ile time nitapumzika ni saambiri ya usiku. Tafadhali, tafadhali. Ukiona sijibu meseji yako, jua ya kwamba, I'm very busy. Now, I have posted the what? I've posted the, I've shared with you the what? The password for today's register. I hope you can all see that. Those who are copying, can you copy that, uh, that particular uh, password? One, I-A-D-T-O. Tafadhali usinipigie kwa WhatsApp, ama kuniandikia messages kwa WhatsApp, ni kupatia hiyo namba. Hiyo namba, tunapomalizana na yo saa hii, mimi pia ninaisahau hivyo. Uh, that is the password. Don't call me to ask me the password. That is the password that I've shared with you there. So I don't need the password in my phone. It is there, my dear. It is there. Sini me share na nina share tena. Ndio hiyo nime share tena. Ndio hiyo nime share tena hapo. 
La Nina Shea Pema. I'm also sharing it again. It is there. I'm also sharing it again. I've shared it like five times. It is there. I'm sharing it again. It is there. I choose, but from the from the chat, I can't see it. Am I the only one who is not seeing the chat? I can't see the password, please. I share it. Sir, can, can you provide? Yeah. Can you just provide it on a link? Okay, right in the public chat. <laughs> yeah, make it public. It I can't the troll. Public chat. I can't troll. Okay, sir. So Twenty WhatsApp. Twenty WhatsApp. Yeah. Sir, thank you. Twenty WhatsApp, sir. Na yini wato. WhatsApp, we na penda. Na na when you hawa koko WhatsApp, like me, I'm not in the WhatsApp. Talk to your class. Thank you. I've, you talk to your class rep, he will take you to your the, the I, Kindly, I'm, I'm new. So, you know I'm new. I registered like, like on date 10. So this is the first time in the class. My dear, so let, the me best, you, let me tell yes. you something. Eh? Yes. Number one, I am not the admin of the WhatsApp. That's one thing. That's why I'm telling you, kindly contact your class rep. I know he's here. Which course are you doing? CPSM. 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 Yes. So CPSM class rep. Can you share the, the link to the WhatsApp? Because after Nikisema ya company takueka kwa your WhatsApp, I am not the admin of the WhatsApp. So I do not have the right to do that. I do not have the right to do that. And those people who are new kindly refer to your class rep. Talk to them so that they can help you join that class. And the creator of the WhatsApp group, kindly share the link to the WhatsApp group. Share the link to the WhatsApp group. As we speak right now, the creator of the WhatsApp. Taki kukuita Gina. But I hope you are here. Share the link right now. To the in this particular forum so that we can do what so that others can use the link to join the group creator of the whatsapp i believe it's a cjms student who created the whatsapp group that's a confirm Anajita Alimo, Alimo. Ju kama hiyo ni Alimo, eh? You are the group admin. Kindly share that link to the group so that others can use that group. And you can use that link to join the group. I can see so many people have been uh, added today. So I've shared the password on the group on uh, Facebook, uh, not Facebook, but uh, WhatsApp. Tafadhali kusinisumbue, mimi nimeshare password. Eh? So ukiona unanipigia simu na mimi sichukui, wewe jua ya kwamba wewe ndiyo unanisumbua. I've shared it there so you can you can be able to see it. So any other question or any other concern? Yes, Mr. Moina. I asked uh, about the card sale. Can we have a formal communication about it? Uh, for your information, by the way, next week you'll be having assignment one. That one I forgot to tell you. You'll be having assignment one next week. And uh, I hope that one has been understood. I will still communicate that on the WhatsApp group, telling you that assignment one is due. I uh, will be given next week. And then I will give the due date when it's supposed to have been submitted, of which if you fail to submit the assignment, 
me you just assume you just like you assume you assume the my assignment na tunaendelea na maisha you assume my assignment i assume you <laughs> have i answered your question <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> So assignment 2 assignment 1 will be given next week that is week 5. So be prepared read for your read read wisely and read thoroughly up to where we have reached by next week I will give assignment 1. Tafadhali read for your 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 card no your assignment. Any other question any other concern now I'm taking concerns. Any concern? <laughs>